Hello everybody, my name is Rich Blazer and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing Silent Hill 1 on the PlayStation 1. Uh, I was going to do SCP Containment Breach, uh, but the Plague Doctor is pissing me off. <laughs> it's getting really bad, I can't get away, I keep dying from him. Um, might have to start over just because he, he has royally screwed me up. Anywho, I said I would play all the Silent Hill games, at least 1 through 4. And today we are starting Silent Hill 1. Let's jump in on normal difficulty, I suppose. Fantastic game. It's been years since I was like a young kid since I played this game. So I don't remember a whole lot. <laughs> I do remember a couple of things. Yeah, it's been a long time, man. I'm excited to get into this one, though. Okay, yeah. Uh, it, it's been since like a young child since I played this. It has been a long ass time. I have watched a video here and there, but like none of it's really retained. <laughs> this is basically kind of new to me. Little girl. Must be his daughter, Cheryl. Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! Well, I remember this has a really strong intro. It, it, it's really good, and I remember as a kid terrifying the absolute bejesus out of me. Come here, Cheryl! Stop running away! Luckily, I think I mentioned this before, but luckily I'm one of those people that don't care about graphics. So this does not bother me in the slightest. But this game looks fantastic. For its time, especially for its time. I think it still looks pretty good. What the? What is it? Um, it looks like a dog got mutilated. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, if you're interested in Silent Hill, I did do a complete playthrough of Silent Hill 2. I will try to remember to put a link in the description below to the full playlist. That is completed. Really good stuff there. One of my favorite games of all time, Silent Hill 2. I can't praise that game enough. It's getting dark. That's strange. It's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, you're a little lighter. It is better than nothing. Oh god, just look at this shot right here. It's cinematic as fuck. Broken wheelchair? What's this doing here? No idea. Uh, Harry? Harry Mason, I believe? What's this? Uh, looks like a gurney. These cinematic shots, man, they're really good. Especially for the for its time. I think it was 1999 when this came out. I, I remember getting this game, not me myself, but like my dad getting this game. I, I just remember the drive home from the mall. Where the GameStop was. What is this? What's going on here? And like looking at the uh what what's this doing here uh, i don't know oh hi children oh just driving home from the mall and i remember looking at the game case oh i am trapped in here get off me okay i go this way 
Uh, go this way. Blocked by a fence? Uh oh. Oh, hi, kids. Oh, I died. Oh, man. What? Oh, okay. Oh. That's right, yeah. You're supposed to die there. Got it. Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh-huh. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Random ass cop gives me a gun. All right. Uh, yeah. By the way, I will be as quiet as I can during these cutscenes. Uh, I'm not as worried about these cutscenes as I was Silent Hill Two. So I'll I'll. Be as quiet as I can during these cutscenes. Uh, yeah, let's equip the gun. Let's see. This looks like I can interact with it. A radio. Is it broken? Can't hear anything. Okay. Health drink. I'm used to that. An old pocket flashlight. Residential area map. Oh god, this map looks like garbage. Old PS1. Uh, what? 
Something just flew across the window. Nope. Someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they'll find my notes useful. Hopefully. Sure, we'll save. Oh, I, I know this poster. I can't really look at it very well. That is, a, that is a rip of a Stephen King poster. It says study, damn it. It's a Stephen King poster. Yeah. Uh, well, it looks like I can take the radio, but I guess I can't. Oh. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Oh, hello. Run, Henry. Harry. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Well, at least, um... Now can I take it? Yeah, pocket radio. Cool. At least the controls are basically the same. <laughs> So there's that. Uh, I do know the multiple sections of this game. I believe, I don't know all of them, but I know most of them. Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. So I know there's the school, there's a hospital. I think there's a sewer section, right? And then I want to say an amusement park. I don't know, I'm gonna try and do like one section per video. So like I will do like the running of around the town and then when I get to the next area, I'll kind of call it there and then go through that area and go from there. Okay, we need to go back to that alley. So it said, yeah, it's up there. Kind of hard to read with all these low ass pixels. I can't like read any of this. Old out something something sales Balkan church gas station convenience store. I think you can go in the convenience store. I wanna say you can. Uh I do know there is a quote unquote good and bad ending. I think there's actually two of each ending. So you got good, good plus, bad and bad plus, I think. Uh hey it's a seven eleven. It takes a while to load. Okay, we can go in the convenience store. That's cool. Anything here, though? I mean, a bunch of health drinks. Come on, pick it up. Uh, anything else here? There's a safe spot. Hold on to the safe spot until I pick up everything. First aid. See, that's the good thing about old PS1 games and stuff. You can definitely tell what can and cannot be interacted with. Do I have to go around to save or can I do it here? Okay, I can do it on this side. I think that's it. It looks like that's all. All right, let's head down to the alley with Cheryl. Bye, bird. Where am I going? God, these streets are abnormally huge. But okay. We'll just go with it. Wait, that doesn't seem like a two-lane highway uh, road to me. It looks like a four or six-way 
lane high uh, road. I I don't know anything about like the design works of this game or anything. So this is all like I said, this is all basically new to me. So I won't have any insight like I do on Silent Hill 2, where I know basically the ins and outs of that entire game. There's that mutilated body there. I believe they used that camera shot from the um, in the Silent Hill movie. That wasn't all that great. The first one wasn't terrible. Is it great? Hell no. But it's not the worst movie I've seen. To school. Isn't the Cheryl sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. How do you know? That could be anybody's sketchbook. That could be anybody's writing. But I guess we'll go to the Midwich Elementary. Sketchbook cover. This picture, it's me. The first picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave her on her fifth birthday. And steel pipe. Nice, though. Um, I mostly know that there is a school and hospital from the Silent Hill mod. Um, I'm, wow, that's Silent Hill mod. Fallout 4 mod, Whispering Hills. Basically adds Silent Hill into Fallout 4. I do have a series on that as well, if you want to check that out. Uh, that is before I started like doing face cam and voice work and all that stuff. So it is no commentary and no, again, no face game. Um, and I did most of the mod, the mod is not finished. So I did all the way up until it ends. Uh, ow, fuck that pterodactyl dive bomb me. Okay. Uh, they are still updating that mod. They did do a small update that adds like some PT stuff. But I'm waiting for the next major release of that, so. That adds the next section of the game. It's really good. I highly recommend if you like Fallout 4 and if you like Silent Hill, definitely check it out. It's really cool. Uh, it also adds Siren Head into the game. That's freaking terrifying. I'm just walking along, you find Siren Head. Fucks you up. And then if you kill them, oh, man, I'm not gonna spoil it if if any of you guys do go in and play it. But if you kill them, it becomes a literal nightmare. Doghouse Levin Street. Well, I just passed a doghouse. Is that is that the one? And that was on Levin Street. So yeah, let's go back. Ah! Oh, get away from me, dog. Housekeeper was hidden in the doghouse. Take it? Uh, yes. Run! Get away from dogs! <sighs> okay, we're good. First aid? Sure. It's locked. Anything useful? Really? I'm looking at a box of bullets. Fuck off, Harry. And a health drink. Okay, we're... We're getting stocked, which is good. Another box of handgun bullets. Where's the living room in this house? You have a... A TV... In the dining room. Okay, whatever. Something is written on the map, hanging on the wall. Copied it to the map. Okay. Keys for Eclipse. Uh, so we got a 
red line down that alleyway next to the cafe. There's an arrow heading across a bridge in a circle over on Elroy Street. There are three locks. Okay. So I'm guessing we find th the three keys at each of those locations on the map. Good to know. I got hit. Am I good? Yeah. I'm good. I got 90 handgun rounds already. Holy shit. Plus 15 in the gun. I got 100 rounds in this gun. I got dog. Uh, I'll go east across Matheson Street. So yeah, we'll go this way. I'm really excited to get into this game, though. I don't think I ever finished it. I played it as a kid, and I th think I got through the school. Memory serves me right. That's it. Yeah, I, I think so. Gosh, I'm trying to think. It's been so long. Got to the school, I'm pretty sure. And it could either be the video I watched or I got to the hospital. Because I know there's a guy at the hospital that you talk to. What's going on down this uh, alleyway here? Luckily, you never run out of like sprint. <laughs> That's always nice in these games. Oh, I can go in here. What's this? Somebody playing basketball with a dog head. Okay. Key of Woodman. I'm guessing that's what I needed? Yeah, if anybody has like any cool design, like development stories on this game, let me know in the comments below. I definitely, I'm definitely intrigued. I know Takayoshi Sato, I believe his name is did all the CG work and he was forced to do all of it on his own and the CG work was way ahead of its time like he did all of it on his own I, he slept in the office under these people's desks while the while the video files were being rendered and it has something to do with he Konami tried to put people above him as like a supervisor position and like was trying to rob him of his credit of the CG excuse me, CG work and basically went to them and said he wants all the credit because he's the only one working on it and they said either he gets a supervisor above him or he has to do everything alone by himself and he did everything by himself. Tokiyasho. Toka, Toka, Toka I'm having a stroke. Tokiyashi Sato. Was like a pioneer. Back in the day working on Silent Hill stuff. That was spooky. Okay. I just saw that stick there. I was like, maybe I can cross that. And it's having a hard time loading here. <laughs> So, that's basically the only design thing that I know of on this game. It would be, it be, it would be nice to know more. I know a little more about Silent Hill 2, design-wise, but nothing for this game. What? Where the hell am I going? Eleventh Street. Yeah, we gotta go back down and. To the west here. No parking. 
Like, I'm not seeing really anything else to explore. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye out for any items along the way. Because from my understanding, like Silent Hill 2 people were not upset, but a little disappointed that you couldn't explore as much as you could in one, so... And in Silent Hill 3, you just can't like explore at all. It gets very... the town section's linear. Oh hi, you're just hanging out in a corner. That yeah, scared me there. Oh, excuse me, I am tired. Hmm, hmm, long day. Uh, I got all three keys. Pretty sure I got three keys, right? <laughs> uh, save again, why not? Lion, Woodman, Scarecrow. Nice, we got all three keys. What? It's getting dark again? What's going on? This is oppressively dark. Holy cow. More health drinks, though. Anything over here? Like, you can't see like 10 feet in front of you. That is dark. Oh, this is. This is spooky. Moving over this way. Ow! Motherfucker! Ah, dogs! Oh, there's lots of dogs! God dang, those pterodactyl things, they just fucking come out of nowhere and snipe you. Okay. Uh, which way do we go? Left. Yep. No pterodors! Pterosaurs, get out of here! I think they're actually called air screamers, but they're pterodactyls. Ah, get out of here! Fuck off! I don't want none. Ah, fuck, there's more. I feel like I've been running forever. Where the hell is the school at? Midwich Elementary. Okay. Doc! <laughs> I know I keep exclaiming, but like it's actually kind of startling. Just them just appearing out of the dark. Holy crap, is it dark? If I turn off my light, oh my lord, you cannot see a damn thing. Ah! School bus! I think you can go in the school bus. Yeah, like, a lot of this is coming back. I'm under- I'm remembering quite a few things about the game. Why is the frame rate awful in here? Alright, we're in school bus. I should have checked the map before I left. Oh god, there's a dog mid jump. Run! Oh, and I know the school is modeled after Kindergarten Cop. I remember that. Like, they. Team Silent had a huge, like, hard on for Kindergarten Cop when they were making this game. <laughs> like, posters are ripped straight from Kindergarten Cop. Hey, what's this? School map!
Oh boy, I am not looking forward to the school, man. I remember this terrifying me as a kid. What do we got? More Ronaldo Gordon. This must be the list of teachers. Why is everything covered in blood? It's written in blood. Uh, 10 o'clock, Alchemy Laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm, the future hidden in his fist, exchange for sage's, sage's water. Okay. Five o'clock. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. It's written in blood. Twelve o'clock. A place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues. Awakening at the ordained order. Okay, seems puzzly. Oh, that's a creepy painting. Why is that in a school? Picture of a door. I don't know who drew it, but it's certainly in bad taste. <laughs> Alright, Harry. Uh, nothing else in here. Anything else? We got a doorway here. It leads out to the courtyard. There's an infirmary over here. Okay. Hey, save point. Oh, there's health drink. Oh, okay, I can grab it. Cool. Health drink. First aid kit. Anything else in here? No, there is a save point, and this is the next area. Again, I'm going to try and do one area per episode, so in the next episode, we'll do the entirety of the school. Go from there. We'll see how long it takes, like, in between, but this is about half hour between the start and here, so it's not a terrible spot to end. I appreciate everybody so much for watching. Definitely check out my Silent Hill 2 playlist again it is completed from start to end there's a lot of good information in there about the development of silent hill 2 and the backstories and stuff of that game i highly recommend checking it out i like i said i'll try to remember to put it in the description below but if not just check out the channel i do have a playlist on the channel as always my friends please hit the like and subscribe it definitely helps more than you realize and as always i'll see each and every one in the next video bye for now don't know where